Someone who was very greedy or selfish is thinking about how generous you used to be, how generous things were with you. This is someone who is resisting change here with the death card in reverse. We also have the six of pentacles here. Tower moment. Fool in reverse. We also have the knight of cups in the reverse. So this is letting me know someone's thinking about how things used to be with you. And because of resisting change or refusing to see a truth, someone is unable to move on effectively or someone is going through some type of sudden change or upheaval. Hmm. All because they were naive or reckless when it comes to you. Wow. I feel this is someone who was naive and was very unrealistic when it comes to compromising a twin flame, a partnership, a relationship, whatever it was, there was a lack of teamwork. I feel this is someone who was in disregard when it comes to emotional maturity, a connection that was honest and true, yet taken advantage of. I feel this is someone who lost something and is now in regret because of deep betrayal. Someone is now feeling defeated. I feel someone is feeling defeated only because of the sacrifices that they have taken. I feel had this energy not taken, taken a loss, they would never have thought about the loss and the sacrifice, the defeat. Someone knows they stabbed you in the back, causing a harsh ending through confusion. Someone stabbed you in the back or did something that was out of place, trying to do something strategically here with the seven of swords. Hmm. But here with the nine of swords energy, someone is now feeling isolated and restricted by their choices. There is an imbalance here because someone forced something. There is a negative external forces here that has caused this energy to embark on bad luck. This energy is now feeling foolish for trying to get away with something strategically because now that everything is said and done, they're feeling like a fool. So this is someone who is now feeling blocked from you after they blocked you out pushed you away or made you feel less than what you were worth because now that everything has fallen apart someone is thinking about how they restricted you or challenged the status quo. I feel this is someone who is going through a necessary change. For many of you this is a rite of passage and for them this is just a crossroads. Hmm. A crossroads when it comes to greed. Many of you are stepping into your intuition here with the High Priestess energy and whoever this is that's been greedy or selfish, materialistic, is now going through an imbalance when it comes to control and generosity. I feel this is someone who is coming to a crossroad here with the Two of Swords in the reverse. This is a crossroads that they cannot get past without real intention. Mm. This is an overload of information for someone who never thought that things would be the way they are. Hmm. I feel this energy never thought things would turn out the way that they have. This is why someone is feeling foolish for the choices that were made. Because now, due to the lack of clarity, someone is feeling left out, confused, feeling like you'll never give them another look, another chance. Someone is definitely in their emotions here with the Ace of Cups here in the reverse. Someone should have been in the position of doing better or being better, but this energy, it seems like they just never learned. I feel like as long as they felt like they were getting by or they were fooling everyone, this energy never put forth the effort. And this is why they're going through a necessary transition. Wow. A necessary transition when it comes to regret, disagreements, competition, strife, tension, conflict. Someone is feeling like they need to recover from something. This is someone who is going through upheavals in their life here with the Tower moment in reverse. This is a misalignment. I also see the Ten of Cups in reverse as well as the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Hmm. So here with the Four of Swords, it seems like someone is wanting to lay something to rest. Someone knows that there is no clarity, but there's a lot of answers that this energy feels they can't give you. 
they feel like it's too dark. It'll take something to a darker place. Hmm. So this energy is hoping you look past or you don't care. Hmm. But I don't feel that it's the case. In so many cases, many of you are not wanting to sit in this space of negativity. This is why many of you are not harbor harboring on what was done. So it don't hold you back. But I feel this is someone who knows that you're in a space of recovery while they're in a space of loss. I feel this energy could be going through spiritual poverty, disorganization, misalignment to a lot of the things that have fallen through or taken place in their life as they're manifesting but too broken mm -hmm. to manifest a new beginning, prosperity. I also feel there is misaligned values when it comes to a broken home, a broken situation, a separation where someone is now burdened by the stress of it. I feel this is someone you think could care less. This energy has given you no effort at all. But I feel here with the hangman in the reverse, someone is going through indecision and delay. They're stuck in the past, knowing they were unrealistic with you, projecting their issues, lashing out at you for things that you never did. Mm. This energy was in a space of illusion, fantasy. When believing they were getting away with something strategically, now they believe they have overinvested in some type of situation or illusion that they can't let go or easily forget. For many of you, they now feel you have given up. Hmm. This energy feels like you've given up on the harmony and the balance of this situation. Something has been broken for so long, but I feel many of you are still in prayer and others, you're just intent on focusing on self and clearly just moving on to something bigger and better. I feel you feel this may have been an injustice. The justice card is coming out in the reverse due to a lack of accountability within this two of cups situation. Someone knows you want to invest in some type of illusion that they still sit in. I feel this is coming out as unfair. Something was never given a fair chance, but I feel you had to clear something away. Mm. Here with the Queen of Swords. There is emotion here, depression, nightmares, intense anxiety here for someone who is going through frustration yet still holding on. Holding on here with the nine of wands in the reverse but i feel with the page of swords someone is all talk in the reverse this energy is not delivering and this is what's causing the anxiety the nightmares the depression hmm. i feel this energy could also be going through sacrifice and loss behind the scenes i feel there could be a loss in stability or finance I feel this energy is not wanting others to know how far or deep something has gone. This energy is feeling hopeless, aimless, and feel like something is intentionally drifting away. There's a lack of faith. There's despair, a fear of the unknown. This is someone who knows they missed an opportunity with you. Being aloof, being in mystery, pushing you away, wanting you to feel left out. Because now that they feel something is at a point of no return, they feel like you'll never see them the same or never give them the benefit of the doubt. Hmm. This is someone who knows that you know the truth. If you don't know everything, you know enough to know that this energy did a lot of things that was unnecessary. This is coming from the intuition here. This is why I feel many of the things that you should know is still left to mystery, mm -hmm. the, the unknown. I feel this is someone who fell off due to their lack of planning and soul searching because they're clearly not attached or bored with what they're dealing with because there is there's an imbalance when it comes to long-term vision, soul searching. Hmm. I feel this is someone who has been hasty or opinionated about something that they would rather backtrack on. Someone is not wanting to give in to what has brought them to this space. Hmm. I feel this is someone who doesn't want to let go of some type of illusion because it's too connected. Yeah. 
the illusion is at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who is clearly depressed, giving up because of the lack of harmony. Someone feels like you won't see them the same. Hmm. But I feel they're going through delays because of what they overinvested in. The people, the things, the places. It's all falling apart. As I sense this energy is wanting to see you. Even wanting to face you in a way. As I sense this energy is definitely thinking of you. Wanting to lay something to rest. But I feel in so many ways, I feel they just can't face you. I feel many of you had to be the adult in this situation where someone was being immature, petty, and lawless with you. Hmm. This is coming out as a lost situation where someone was trying to manipulate something, hmm. but they went too far. They were driven by their own sense of self, watching everything, hmm, criticizing everything, because you were seeking your own hmm wanting to be fulfilled but this energy is coming out as someone who is pretending to be innocent to something but knows they betrayed you this is why someone is wanting you to be lost to details pretending to be blinded to a truth even though they know they drained you and left you with questions they know they can't answer this energy is manipulative very moody because they know they are caught up in some type of entanglement that is now haunting them I feel there's also a group of people here, codependent energy here of influences that have them heavily guarded or on the defense because they're disconnected from what they have done to you. I feel this is someone who is used to forcing their control or orchestrating things because they are stuck behind the mask, hoping that others are consumed by the idea of love. This is someone who has ghosted or avoided you for some time. But I feel in so many ways this energy is now stressed out. Stressed from the manipulation. They're in a mood because they know they turned their back on you. This energy knows without a doubt they turned their back on you. And this is why they're in a sense of depression. Knowing that something cannot easily change. They can't backtrack on what they have done. So now they're in a mood. Mm. So it seems someone is getting tangled up in their lives. And this is why the... Um, interferences are coming out here. Others are calling them out on what they have done. Because they know they have kept secrets. This energy is clearly overwhelmed. Consumed by the appearance of something. This energy could be hiding because something has now faded out. I feel this energy is hiding because they didn't see the signs. Because of their cloudy judgment towards you, this energy is now triggered by the past. For many of you, this is someone who is triggered by the past that is now replaying effortlessly through their mind as someone was fighting with you at all costs through hidden motives. So it seems like someone was fighting with you and they don't even know why. They don't know why they were talking the way they were talking or wasting time by acting a fool. But I feel it was all because of their insecurities. I feel you brought out some insecurities, but I feel you are only challenging them. Challenging them to grow up, level up, yet in an effort to make you feel shame for that. This energy did some things that only cost you, caused you to lose trust. Hmm. Because there is a painful ending here. A painful ending where someone lost trust, respect. Hmm. This is someone who is refusing to believe they were acting delusional, but they don't like the fact or the feeling of knowing that you may have, you may have given up or have no fight left when it comes to someone who is repeating patterns or makes you feel they'll never change. I feel this is someone who has some immature vibes, and this is why they're still stuck on stupid or just replaying things instead of changing things. I feel this energy tested the boundaries with you and feels safer behind closed doors or in private because they're still attached to some very dark things. I feel this is someone who has some outdated thinking or they're thinking in overdrive about finances. I feel this is someone who is worried about what they destroyed because they're not feeling like no one loves them because of the drama 
or the fact that they were trying to look down on others. Others are now looking down on them. I feel this energy is playing hide and seek with you because they can't face the change. This energy thinks in a very different way or loves in a very hard way, but I feel they do have a lot of love for you. They just refuse to show you. Mm. Mm. I feel this is someone who is very broken, yet they try to hide it. This energy you have given a lot of time and effort to has a lot of worries. Hmm. I feel this is someone who is now feeling blocked out. Even though they blocked you out, they're feeling like you are making it final. I feel this is someone who has a fear of being vulnerable. Hmm. Yet they're still trying to control some things behind the scenes. Codependent energy of someone who is still talking, but also very materialistic. Something is going to bring something to the edge because you're simply not on the same page when it comes to someone who is clearly bitter. Bitter at the fact that you are not a pushover, but I feel someone is going to have to go through a lot to get a little because they're resisting divine intervention. Mm. Someone is resisting a dark night of the soul, and this is why you do feel nothing with them can be tamed. This energy seems to be wild and out of control due to the fact that they are not wanting to be vulnerable to things that they know is tearing them down or breaking them in half. Yet I feel even if they found a way to be vulnerable with you, it would be hard to believe because this energy never truly tells the truth. So for many of you, I feel like this is someone who is in a sense of despair, could be hiding it through time or through a lack of effort or even by hiding from you. We have the hide and seek energy here. As I said before, you've given a lot of time and love, yet when you gave them enough rope, they hung themselves. They hung themselves by giving you your know, fake apology or nothing at all, but I feel this energy really put their stamp on something, really made something final when it comes to you. I feel this is someone who is replaying the past and now they're a trigger because they know they were testing the boundaries. Someone knows that they were pushing you, but they never thought that they would push you this far. Ride or die energy here at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who knows that you gave unconditional energy. You're coming out, out as an unconditional soul where the love should have been electric, but someone played with the love that was given. You're coming out as a ride or die energy where someone feels like they came so close, but now they feel so far. They feel like they lost themselves in a very careless situation where they could have just lay down their armor and just giving in to the love that was given now it's just a heavy weight that they are now trying to bear as they replay events someone is now in heavy regret and dealing with unfamiliar unfamiliar feelings someone is silent and complacent seeking answers because they know none has been given I feel this energy is thinking about and hoping, daydreaming about circling back to you. But I feel many of you feel they're just going to go round and round with the same energy, the same pattern. And it's just hard to concentrate on the road to home or even wanting someone back in your energy if they have yet to change. Because from what I can see, this energy is in heavy regret due to unfamiliar feelings and things unraveling before their eyes. I feel this is someone who is trying to weigh the, the pros and the cons, wanting to take a roll of the dice, but this energy is drowning, drowning in empty emotions, trying to cope. But I feel this is someone who is thinking only about their careless actions, flaking out on you because now they're missing you. I feel this is someone who is silent and sitting in a place of <clears throat> contemplation. Mm. They feel like something is so complex when it comes to love, but this is someone who only loves out of convenience. I feel this energy misses you, but 
they're also dealing with some very uncomfortable karma. As from what I can see, this energy is taking something very hard as things start to unravel in their life. This energy knows what they have done, but they still want you to soft, soften your heart, to soften the blow, so, yet someone is still struggling through it and not wanting to. This is why someone is wanting to send you a message, a message in a bottle, communicate. And for some of you, communication is arriving, but someone is just composing their words and their thoughts. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who is about to communicate, and for others, something is getting in the way. This could be interferences, foes, third-party energies here. Someone is falling too deep into sin. Oh. But something is definitely reaching a closing when it comes to a mystery, uh, an enigma. Something is in the final steps. So I feel like this is a euphoric feeling here. Of someone wanting to make a tempting offer. Someone is wanting to reach out. But I feel someone is need, needing to open their eyes. Uh, so for many of you, what's getting in the way is self. Someone is getting in the way of their own closure. Someone is getting in the way of their own abundance, all because of their dense baggage of not doing the shadow work. Something is hidden. Someone is not mastering self, and time is definitely slipping away. Well, it's now or never, but someone is wanting to accept this journey, a journey that they are not prepared to take. For many of you, you're coming out as something uplifting for this energy. I feel like you challenged this energy in a way that they were not prepared to be challenged and they lashed out at you. Ran to something that was weaker or simpler, something that didn't even challenge them in a way that they needed to be. This is why this energy is coming up as half of who they should be and only thinking about the road to home instead of taking the road to home. This is someone who is struggling, knowing that they were so close, now they're so far, it's now become a heavy regret, now that they have allowed time to slip away. I feel this energy thinks about things all the time. This is someone who thinks about reaching out, but they know addressing what they did is a source space for you and even for them. So for now, they could be trying to avoid it at all costs. Yet I feel if pressed or they felt like they had to do so, this energy may, they may lie. I feel like if you force this energy to give you the truth, they're going to give you half truth all the way. As this energy feels like if forced to do something, they may have to give what they feel would be accepted. But I feel this is someone who is still has yet to change. I feel this is someone who goes at you who now wants to celebrate with you. I feel this is someone who is trying to get sources or information from other people, but they're still coming up short, especially when it comes to their happiness. I feel this is someone who is feeling like they're losing self because they're unprepared for change. Someone feels like you won't, won't understand. I feel this is someone who is thinking about the road to home but not traveling the road to home because they're still sitting in their own mistakes, lessons, and temptations. This is someone who has fallen victim to their own sins and this is why they're in heavy regret and ashamed. Not walking that road to home because they didn't listen. Someone didn't listen and they were sitting in a space of denial when it comes to how toxic they truly are. This is why someone has gone silent even though they know they miss you. Someone needs to let go of something that keeps them in this emotional roller coaster fire energy here. Someone knows they burned a bridge with family, daydreaming. This energy is daydreaming about the wish fulfillment of being with someone, being closer to family, being closer to you. Someone is ashamed with the, of what they did to family. Please take it how it resonates. That is not for everyone, but someone is dealing with unfamiliar feelings and heavy regret when it comes to what they have lost with self and even you. Someone is wanting to let go of this 
emotional denial. Someone is wanting to listen now. Someone is sorry for hurting you. They just don't know how to deal with it without losing respect for self. I feel this is why they don't want to acknowledge something. They're trying to save face. They're trying not to humble self. I feel this energy is doing a lot just because they feel you won't understand they, the reason why they lie, the reason why they betray, but I feel there is no reason for any of it. There's no reason for any of the things that they have done, and I feel deep down, they know it. This is why they sit in heavy regret about how they burn something down. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they are fully angry about what is now left in a great deal of water. This is water emotions. These are signs of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, where there's karmic energy of distance. Someone is fully triggered about what has been paused with you. Someone really thought that this was going to be temporary. Hmm temporary silence and this is why they daydream about how something should have been and fully triggered about what could have been hmm. so it seems this energy is daydreaming daydreaming about how things were someone knows that you will ride or die someone knows that you would have had their back but how toxic things became someone now feels that is no longer an option someone feels they may need you to have their back this energy is triggered and angry about what they refuse to let go because now they're sitting in silence and at a distance because they also feel you don't have time for them anymore now today this is runner energy of someone who is always running from the issues but I feel they need to pay attention to their dreams this daydreaming energy is no deal but I feel they're daydreaming on purpose this could also be someone who is thinking about you at night this could be someone who is daydreaming about you just dreaming about you but someone is needing to pay attention to their dreams because their answers are fully exposed in their intuition as well as their dream state mm. intuition listen to your intuition to gain a confession listen to the intuition to communicate so I feel like there will be incoming communication for some of you guys and for others someone is definitely trying to get their thoughts and their their energy together to even try their best to make a, some type of confession that even makes any sense to them as well as to you but I feel for now someone could be sitting in pride and ego believing that you have also done some things to them that they need some answers to as well but I feel that they're just sitting in a space of sadness, anxiety, still not really understanding the drama that they have caused, but I feel there will be unexpected surprise. Something is definitely in the air for a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I feel the lessons will finally bring something to completion. The lessons will finally ground something put something into place. I feel for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Twin Flame journey was definitely expected, but I feel someone's desires when it comes to finances and losses, they're now knowing they need to raise their vibration instead of having some sort of grudge or revenge. Someone thought that they were gonna have the last laugh in this situation, but they were not looking at the signs. Because they're definitely coming up short, especially now that the ball is in your court. I feel this is someone who gained influence with others, wanted others to be on their side, and I feel they had that until now. Now they're looking back on the memories of what they did, not realizing how protected you are. Because everything was returned to sender. Many of you have already moved on, game over, and others, you're still healing. There's third party energy here that is interfering with the balance of things, with the balance of re reunion here. But I also feel someone is going to get something right or continue to get something wrong. Someone is needing to 
heal the inner child. Mm. This is someone who is going through some things that is not connected to you. This energy is truly struggling. Many of you, your prayers are definitely working. And for others, the distance is also doing the same. Someone is learning some things in a very harsh way because they refuse to see the truth, especially when it comes to you and the blessings that could have been in store for the both, both of you. Mm -hmm. Now your blessings are just coming tenfold just to you. I feel there is spiritual guidance here for someone who is still watching, knowing that you are the one. Wow, they should have loved you. They should have cared for you. This is also past life energy for many of you where someone had the chance to get it right this season and they didn't. They ghosted you when they should have celebrated you. Now they're on the outside looking in feeling like all they can do is watch you. I feel this energy is thinking about communicating but they also know they didn't listen. This energy was in full denial. This energy was in full denial when it comes to their destructive tendencies and even their destructive ways and this is why something fell to work or someone is still not getting something right not letting go because of denial someone knows they are in the wrong but the fact that what they're dealing with is unfamiliar they're not knowing how to attack the pain to get rid of the pain to acknowledge the pain. This is why someone is losing self and struggling, seeming like it's so far, well, so close, but yet so far someone is now triggered because of what is lost or something that they know won't be easily gained. As this energy knows full well, they are broken or even hard to deal with. This energy is coming out as an acquired taste. Mm. Not everyone can fully understand or deal with this energy, but I feel in so many ways you could. But I feel just because you can deal with it doesn't mean you have to. I feel this energy caused many of you to lose direction. You just wanted to be free. You wanted to be happy of, of someone's sabotage or lack of remorse or even regret. I feel this energy was so lost in their own selfish ways, they were trapped in it. Now something is stagnated when it comes to a commitment or a connection. I feel this energy is silent or in denial because they know they were toxic. They know they were toxic in a family or they know they were toxic in a connection that should have been abundant over time. But I feel due to their patterns, and the lack of their guilt, they ignored everything and stepped into a page of karma. This is why someone is sitting in regret, as I said before, had they never been caught, nothing ever would have changed. I feel this is someone who sits in regret of getting caught because they just got too comfortable. So this is someone who just got too comfortable with holding back from you. It's almost like they were getting off on your reaction or your response to them being inconsistent. Hmm. Now someone is dealing with unfamiliar feelings when it comes to apologizing to you. I feel this is someone who didn't let go of holding back or being in denial or being too comfortable with being toxic. This is why they got too comfortable with giving no effort. But I feel them being toxic, unhealthy, abusive, it just, it almost came, became second hand for them. This is why you never received any type of remorse or apology. I feel this energy pretended not to know the truth, giving mixed signals, on and off energy here, on and off contact. This energy was flirting with danger when it comes to a relationship. And this is why someone is now under pressure. Under pressure for their destructive ways. Hmm. Because something, it almost feels like it's beyond repair. All because of the years of denial or disrespect, the toxic behaviors of dysfunctional ways. This energy was surely selfish. 
selfish when it comes to holding back or getting too comfortable in destructive ways now this energy is under pressure for being toxic and holding back and being inconsistent with secrets this energy put no effort into abundance no effort into family no effort into a connection and now they're sitting in their own misery because of after all these years now they feel like they don't have much to give mm. after being misleading someone knows that you or feels you'll be cold but I feel that is not your heart I feel it is not your heart to be cold or distant non-emotional but I feel the wires have been crossed here there is no communication or very little communication when it comes to someone who has just gotten too comfortable in their own insecurities thrills control deceit love bombing you this energy is in hermit mode hoping and wishing to be validated needed affirmed in some type of way but they're still tapping into and stroking their own ego i feel this is someone who is very concerned about their image but they're also banking on something banking on the history of the emotions of this relationships this energy is still in victim mode when it comes to the history i feel this energy is thinking about self and this is why they're still undecided and I feel this is another reason there is a lot of questions yet still no answers to why they chose to hurt you I feel this is someone who has no answers for that because this is someone who is just hurt and hurting others it's just what they do I feel this is someone who is wanting validation wanting confirmation but I feel in time there will only be a storm to attend to where there will only be arguments unstable energy hmm. this is an unstable explosive conflict where someone will be experiencing tension a storm for their patterns and repetitive behaviors hmm. same patterns no change but I feel their actions are gonna have to speak louder than their words especially when it comes to you because as time passes, someone won't be able to ignore the goat. Someone won't be able to look past or disregard the, the guilt. I feel this is someone who will be guilt ridden, ashamed, sorry, due to consequence. I feel this is someone who really did, didn't really understand the consequences of their actions and this is why they became so reckless. So reckless in what they thought was necessary. Hmm. But I feel this energy is keeping their thoughts to themselves because of their karma because they feel like something is already final. I feel this energy believes something is final, unfinished. Someone knows something is final because of how they accused you, how they lied on you, how they pushed you out and made you feel you were not a part of something. But I feel they are now thinking about the differences, their beliefs, traditions. Someone is thinking about what should have been. Someone is also thinking about how they never wanted this to be this way. I feel this energy knows they got lost in their petty behaviors. They just can't understand how they got so reckless in so little time yet I sense they should just say what they feel because they are only confusing you with their actions I feel this energy has been very inconsistent with you misleading you and this is why things have become a toxic connection or relationship things that now trigger them and leave them in a sense of regret Someone doesn't want you to know the pain that they feel behind the loss of you, the sacrifice of you, because in so many ways they never thought things would go this far. I feel this energy never thought that you would give up when it comes to the runner chaser dynamic. Someone never thought that you would give up on your position, give up the fight, give up the war. But I feel the fact that you are unbothered or just moving in a different direction or moving differently. Someone is concerned about that. 
because they already know they have already lost their identity. I feel this energy never looked at things the way that they thought, especially when it comes to this relationship. This energy is full of regret on how toxic they were in this connection. I feel this energy did a lot of things out of convenience, and this is why they never compromised with you. This energy was never available, and this is why they were inconsistent. Hmm. I feel this energy caused a separation. I feel this energy put you on the back burner because they were wanting you to react. Someone likes the games of tip for tat. Someone likes to be under pressure, wanting others to feel a certain way. Someone wants you to feel exactly how they do because they're addicted to a, a toxic way of doing things. But something is at a crossroads when it comes to compromise. Something that they never do. But I feel they have learned some very valuable lessons. And so have you. Hmm. Someone has learned some very valuable lessons in losing their identity. Someone is being tested. Hmm. Someone is being tested for being a false twin flame for so-called love. Someone is stuck in limbo. Someone is stuck in limbo of highs and lows to activate soul. Hmm. This, is, this is something that is very unexplainable. Something that they can't explain that will lead them to a state of burden and regret for being unawakened to being in sync with you because they were too driven by their own ego driven by their own pride I feel this energy you thought understood your pain or even your journey hmm. only hurt you in the end hmm. and I feel it hurts because you really tried you really tried and they only cause you to regret it in, in the end. I feel this energy regrets blocking you out, pushing you away, or making you feel guilty when you should have never felt the way that you did. But I feel something, something very unexplainable, something that they now regret, has awakened their fears. This could be small challenges that has now turned into big challenges. But whatever it is... Is due to unexpected events, cycles, cycles that are very emotional, very intense, that are causing differences and intensities in their life. This is unplanned events that will cause a, a climax where someone is wanting to manifest a breakthrough, yet they're hesitant, hesitant to talk, reach out, or even face you. Someone knows what they said. They know what they did. Someone knows that the gossip and their opinion really pushed a narrative here and someone has <sighs> hesitation because they know that it will be hard to have a breakthrough with you because they had one goal and two ways to do it and someone knows that they disrespected you. Now something has become lost because of what they tried to control. Now someone is in repetitive cycles thinking about the memories, wanting to pull up on you, wanting to re reunite with you, but the jealousy, the hate, the harsh endings, it's all tearing up the possibilities. This energy is still waiting, waiting for you to reach out. But I feel deep down they know whatever's facing them won't be easy because you don't feel safe in their space hmm. and I feel that was never part of the plan yet I feel there's a lot of conflict here a lot of battle it almost feels like your fire and ice things are not compatible at this time hmm. all because of attachments these attachments are very dark and it keeps them in this runner chaser dynamic someone thought that you would run forever I feel this is someone who is now feeling it now. Someone is different, definitely in a space where it's starting to hit different. When it comes to this separation, someone is in a mania. Someone is in a, trying to fill the void of you with other things, other people. Someone could be spreading themselves thin, trying to get that close connection. 
But I feel these energies that they're inquiring or coming past are only souls in passing. When it comes to what they had with you, it was true. It's coming out as married, marriage. This was something that was supposed to be connected forever. I feel this is someone who is now arguing with others or arguing with self when it comes to how they choose to love or the friendships they use or choose to have. I feel this energy wants to make an offer, but they also feel like your heart is now protected. This energy feels like there is no getting to you or even getting past you. This energy knows that what they have with you was magical, something that cannot be duplicated or even replaced. I feel even through the good and the bad, whatever it was, this energy knows that it cannot be something that they can just hmm, easily replace or get someone to stand in your place. It's just an empty void that keeps them stuck in limbo. Someone knows they gave you so-called love, they just don't know how to authentically give it to you without <sighs> losing a part of themselves that they feel they need. I feel this energy has come, come into your life as a twin flame energy. This is a lesson to be learned. Many of you are tired of the lessons. Many of you are looking for the same energy that is given. I feel this energy should have been a soulmate, a true connection, something to stand the test of time, yet they're going through an awakening through the highs and lows of being available. I feel this energy is definitely at a distance or this energy has put themselves at a distance from you emotionally. But I feel something is happening in divine timing. This is why someone is in a space of just watching you, mirroring you, doing things they feel that you would have done. But the fact that you are not chasing or celebrating with them, someone is regretting ghosting you. Because now that they are in limbo of not giving the love that you deserved, they're starting to realize they're getting that same energy back. Mm. I feel this energy is getting that cheater energy. Someone feels someone's not loyal. Someone cannot be trusted. This energy is coming out as a karmic influence. This is someone who is bringing a turning point in their life. Um, this is a detour. And for others, this could also be a hidden blessing. As I said before in this reading, many of you are still praying for this energy. And others, you have, you have moved on to a healing space. And you still could be healing here. But I feel someone already knows you're perfectly perfect for a situation someone knows they are imperfect and this is why you were a true hidden blessing now someone is trapped not wanting to over romanticize something that is now in their life or possibly stuck for good someone is now regretting the fact that they were unavailable hmm. because the people places and things that are now in their life has them hiding what they truly feel and I feel like it's not something people would like to hear someone feels like um, they may have had false hope for something that is now clear to see something is obvious and someone is no longer justifying someone else's behaviors someone is wanting a resolution this could be you as well but others no one's dealing with this runner so it feels like this runner feels like they are being rejected because of their wounds when really they're re being rejected because they refuse to compromise or be available. Someone's at a crossroads, but there are many lessons to learn when it comes to someone who is always doing things out of convenience. I feel this is someone who is sitting in a comfortable, comfortable space when it comes to testing others, which is ironic because they sit in a space where they refuse to be tested. I feel like this energy held back and became inconsistent because it's almost like it's the game that you play. But I feel when many of you stop playing the game, someone got scared because something was never the plan. I feel this energy feels like they're going to have to be in a very um, uncomfortable space to reach out to you, almost feeling like they need the liquid courage to do so. I feel this is someone who is a people pleaser or a people pleaser wanting to be pleased. Someone is now feeling lonely because of their selfish ways of being inconsistent. Someone knows they owe an apology, but they feel trapped trapped by illusion or fantasy because the vibe has changed. I feel this energy feels you hate them now. This energy feels like you 
hate everything about them, but I feel it's only because they're trapped in this illusion. They feel this way. For many of you, it could be a fact, but I feel someone is also on the outside looking in, causing someone to feel a way about themselves, about this connection. Yeah, this is someone who shouldn't be there. This energy is coming out as a one-night stand. Someone who is only temporary. Someone who is needing to pick up their feelings because they are creating a lot of damage here with someone's addiction. Someone knows that they have issues or problems. They are playing on it. Hmm. Someone is also feeding off of their money. They don't have a lot, but whatever they have, someone is feeding off of it. Hmm. But I feel someone is allowing something to happen because of heavy, unhealed hurt. Someone is o overthinking something. Overthinking how they pushed you away, turned their back on you. I feel this is someone who is heavily missing you, but they're wish-washy about it. Someone doesn't really know how to feel about you or even this situation. I feel this energy has more than one issue, but they feel like you won't even hear them out when it comes to the confusion of it all. Someone is confused to how to heal, and they have mixed emotions about the disrespect. Someone feels like you disrespected them too. Someone feels like they did what they had to do. Someone feels like they were just trying to put you in their your place, but I feel like something just went too far. Someone just got too comfortable in the games that they were playing with you. I feel this was a game that you never signed up for, but this energy really doesn't care about that. Now, they got it bad. They got it bad. They want to bounce back. They're trying, but they're not confident. Someone is still dealing with some low vibrational insecurities they're also in a very miserable situation that is flatlining someone is in a very tight situation where things are falling apart and definitely fading away and they're trying to be very strategic behind the scenes when it comes to a very messy situation this could also be a situation ship please take it how it resonates with your message but someone is embarrassed by someone else someone is embarrassed by the presence of someone else someone is embarrassed when someone else speaks mm. because they're too immature or they're just full of drama i feel someone can't enjoy mm. So it seems like someone can't, feels like they can't enjoy their life because of this third party energy who is screwing up their life, their finances, or just causing drama. Every time they open their mouth, they cause some type of friction. They're trying to be very strategic with this energy because they know whatever's going on in this situation ship is now, it's coming to an end. It's falling apart. They just don't know how to be vulnerable and reach out because they have yet to do so. They feel like you just don't see them the same you're not interested this energy feels like you are no longer standing by the phone no longer wanted to reach out and they feel like they really screwed this up this time someone is very emotional behind the scenes not knowing no not wanting anyone to know what they're truly thinking and feeling about a toxic situation that they didn't give any effort to this energy is now thinking about the community and who is thinking what this energy is missing you but also trying to dismiss a lot of the things they have done to you but the fact that things are coming out or other people are bringing something out of how they try to test you or leave you out there's also no contact here Someone got blocked and someone is really pissed about it because they have to take a downgrade. In time, this energy is going to realize they need counseling. Because whatever they're going through, they can't do this alone. There's a lot of havoc here. And there's also energy of someone having a serious situation going on here behind the scenes. Whatever this is, is serious and they regret ever leaving you on red because they know if they reached out to you, you would reach out to them. You would have cared. Hmm. Now someone is just left with thinking about the possibility, stalking, watching, wanting to embrace you. Hmm. But they are still putting money first. Something is dragging because someone is draining them. Whatever they are, it's not a happy situation. It's not a happy home. And this energy really has an attitude. They're very possessive about you. They believe you belong to them. But someone feels, or you can even feel, you need a break. For some of you, something needed to be broken down to be rebuilt. Hmm. 
but I also feel whatever love, help, or message they were supposed to relay to you, it was blocked. I feel whatever it was, it, it was blocked. And now, they're no longer looking at their victories the same. Now they, they feel you're no longer going to be in them. I feel this energy wants you to hear them out, but the fact that they have yet to heal has caused them to be confused about a truth. A truth that is obvious to see, but this energy is still refusing to tap into it. Hmm. I feel whatever someone's going through, they got it bad, whether it's having it bad when it comes to missing you or they got it bad with feeling you hate them. But whatever the case, however this goes, I feel many of you were always right. I feel you had a, a deep feeling about this energy, but I feel you, you compromised, you gave in anyways. I feel you gave in authentically, wholeheartedly anyways, even though you knew something was wrong, something was off when it comes to how they chose to go about a situation, even if they did it with a smile. I feel this is someone who was always giving you this dark energy. They took advantage of your kindness and now they want you to trust them. They want you to believe they can be trusted. But I feel in so many case, in so many cases someone knows they took advantage of the kindness and they just don't want to be judged by you. Someone knows that you are very suspicious about why they're coming now or why they would even try to fix after all this time, after all of this damage. But I feel maybe your prayers have worked. Maybe they have found a way to change or this energy is just trying to lighten their load. But I feel whatever the case, someone is needing and wanting your attention. I feel this is someone who wants to find a way to plead or find a sense of forgiveness, whether they get that from you or from self. But they feel like you don't need them anymore or you're just not feeling it. And they just, they sit in regret for treating you the way that they did, but they also feel like something could change in the long run. I feel this is someone who knows they haven't been honest with you and that change that they seek may never happen as many of you were clearly right about someone who betrayed you. And they want you to believe they are trying to change but I feel in so many ways they need to focus on their mental health. For many of you, you can't figure them out because of these mental changes that they go through. I feel there was no way for you to even get that clear understanding for someone who is always shifting and changing. Mm. I feel in this season you may need to focus on yourself because you you deserve so much more than this and someone knows that and this is why they're stuck between worlds trying to figure out how to give self and even you and everyone around them the better parts of them. But I feel someone's going to have to come out of this space of thinking everything is a game I feel this is someone who wants to hear from you. This energy wants to hear from you. They want to build and grow with you. And, but they, it's coming out as a game because they want you to reach out first. Even though they know full well they're capable and able of doing so themselves, this energy is feeling a way about doing it. Someone is feeling a way about reaching out to you first, but I don't feel it's your place to reach out to them. It will only make them feel or believe that they were, it was necessary in doing the things that they did because eventually you came around. But I feel this is a season where you will have to stand your ground with someone who is still testing you. This energy is still testing you. They want you to fight for the position. They want you to fight for the love. But I feel soon you will realize they're just full of drama. Many of you are fed up with someone who is not healing their inner core wounds. And in so many ways, you feel like they just can't be trusted. They're always on something. It's never in the space of trying to love or even respect you. Many of you feel they just might hurt you again. Some of you feel this energy may hurt you again or bring you to a space where you find yourself regretting the choices you have made to listen or let them back in. 
I feel for many of you, it doesn't hurt to understand. But I feel many of you also feel it will be so foolish to allow them space in your life when they put no effort into change because without change they will only be the same person who hurt you the first time this is someone who refuses to lose but they also know there's a lot of trust issues here things that have caused you to have enough but I feel many of you just don't feel right about giving out resources or giving them help when they have broken your heart. We're going to get a last deck here. Of course, if you guys have enjoyed the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Let's get some final energy here. Let's hear one of the messages, final messages here for the collective, the message, the energy. This is someone who knows that you're going to judge or someone feels like you have so many questions that they're not going to have to or not going to be able to get past. But I feel the fact that they crave your energy is the only reason they're just going to take a chance and finally reach out to you. I feel this is someone who is extra triggered by the fact that they feel left out or alone. This energy now feels limited or stuck because they had no change. But I feel it's because of their groupy ways of trying to fit in at all costs. Someone was hating on you. This energy is coming out as someone who wasted time being a spiritual hater or a wolf in sheep's clothing. Because now these are, these are memories that they will never forget. Someone will never forget what they did to you. How they lost you or sacrificed something with you. Because they're definitely emotional and triggered. Extra triggered about it this energy is reflecting on all the fake smiles and how they hated on your happiness how they blocked you out the family or they were just clearly tripping on you this is someone who blocked you and they're wanting to be unblocked i feel this energy tried to take something steal your joy steal your happiness steal what they belo believe belong to them this energy was trying to rob you physically or emotionally please take it how it resonates but i feel someone didn't even realize how much they were wasting their time with uh big smiles and tripping on you regardless of what you do i feel whether you did things their way or your way they were going to always find a way to bring you down make you feel a way about you rising above because now that you are being loved and idolized in a different direction or in the spirit of doing so someone is threatened by that someone is threatened by you clearly someone is threatened by the fact that you are moving in silence and rising above something someone is all in their head about you stepping into your power or even being uninterested unbothered whatever it is someone is curious about you yet confused on which way to go however many of you are moving on which is why you are moving in silence from those who are threatened intimidated or bothered by your come up this is someone who is still acting reckless and haunted by those mistakes, yet this energy is ignoring the signs of how they got mentally distracted or mentally incarcerated by their own actions and negative ways. For many of you, this energy abused their power and now they're feeling rejected for how they chose to talk to you or about you, but I feel this energy is haunted by their grudge towards you or how they started a war or some type of com competition that you never even signed up for. I feel this energy regrets trying to scare you because they are scared mm. this energy is scared shitless that you have moved on or they have become a thought or a thing of the past mm. because now they're all in their head about one last chance I feel this energy believes one last chance they can get it right but I feel it's their ego it's the hurt 
and the pain that they refuse to acknowledge and even heal that keeps them in a space where things are just a fleeting thought. Hmm. And like since this is someone who is just going to have to learn some very valuable lessons through some very low vibrational situations that will be hard to shake, hard to understand. And this is why someone has yet to reach out to you, even though they know it's the only way. This energy feels blocked and played out now that karma has come into play, as this energy is now bankrupt mentally and even spiritually. I feel this energy thinks about forcing their way into a situation just popping up, just seeing how you are going to react to something, sending some type of message. But I also feel something is stagnated. They're all in their head overthinking something, very stressed out. Someone is overanalyzing their position in your life or the fact that you are moved on. Someone just doesn't want to be rejected, but I feel that it's their low IQ believing they owe you something. This is someone who believes they owe you something of a material nature, but I feel this is someone who owes you more, more than they could even imagine or even comprehend or understand as what they owe you can only be given from an authentic space. I feel this is someone who is running out of things to say or even think. This energy wonders what you think about them all the time, but I feel if they really knew what you thought about them, they wouldn't have no hesitation of reaching out to you. And for others, I don't think it could be a good idea because they might not like the words you might have for them. I feel this energy is coming out, sh coming up short when it comes to finances. Someone doesn't want you to know how bad things truly are behind the scenes. But I feel there's a lot of drama in the marriage. There's a lot of drama with the people they have connected themselves to. And for many of you, you've definitely dodged the bullet with this. Many of you have had to dust this off. And I feel like you did this unintentionally. There's a lot of love that you had for this energy. But someone just took something too far. I feel someone just got too comfortable with playing games with you. I feel every time you tried to compromise, someone thought it was an open door to, to do more. And someone just got lost in time. Lost in time with being petty. And now that things have now caught up with them, with someone... They're now reflecting on hating on you, tripping on you for no reason. Someone is realizing that they may have hated on you because they were irritated by your life. Irritated by the fact that you brought, you brought change. Hmm. But I feel someone was in and out, disappeared on you. This energy is coming out as an imposter, being someone that they claim they would never be to you. This energy is coming out as a karmic energy, someone who knows they were being fake, someone who knows they were giving you fake love. But now that you're too busy to care or look their way someone is wanting to kiss up to you wanting to give you those flowers they never gave you wanting to give you the respect that they never did someone is wanting to give an offer but i feel many of you are unfazed when it comes to someone who wants you back someone wants you back in the fold back on the team but i feel it's not the type of offer many of you are wanting to receive so they feel you're acting cold Someone thinks you're being cold, cold as ice, now that they're wanting to return or wanting to make something right, but I feel something is long overdue or it's just too little too late when it comes to someone who is looking to chase you. Now, it seems the chaser has become the one with the choices. So it seems someone who thought that you would never let go has now become the chaser in a situation. Someone is also obsessed, feeling like they're going to have to fake flex or act like they're rich or act like things are fancy or someone's trying to show off, but I feel they're at a distance trying to figure out how to play this game. As I said before, it almost feels for many of you, this is all a game, as this is someone who is always trying to come up with some type of strategy. Never coming from a genuine place makes you feel like this energy is truly lost. On the, 
and you may feel like they don't even understand you to even make this right because they've been so careless for some of you someone may have lost a car something could have been repo but someone is looking something up I feel this energy knows they were being a bully in this situation but they're wanting this to be perceived as them trying to be a leader or a boss but they're going through some things that are definitely going to be an issue for them because they are fishing for people to help, fishing for compliments, fishing for energy here and someone is also dealing with some sides of themselves that they refuse to heal. This is why someone could be giving an offer after so long. This for many of you is coming out as a dirty offer. Something that just might be rejected. You feel this energy is chasing cloud or this, something is just not genuine you feel like they're only trying to lighten the load and i feel many of you all may also have proof of that proof of the fact that they just ain't shit someone's still dealing with their parties and still trying to save face but someone is waiting or wasting time because they're still doing the same old thing and expecting different results someone is wanting to do what you're doing trying to mimic you in some type of way but someone's having some health issues that they are not wanting to attend to and this is another reason they just might be blocked out someone is needing to care about their health this could be mentally or physically but whatever it is something needs to change getting get some final cards here yeah someone is no longer wanting to trip on you but this energy cannot be trusted there's tension there's competition and i feel this is someone who is used to keeping friends close and enemies closer but that is not your energy that is not how you move if you are an enemy your enemy should never be comfortable around you yet i feel this is someone who is about to receive some true lessons through some very teachable moments where i sense it's up to them whether they get through this or not because as they stumble through their dead, many of you are rising from the ashes and claiming rewards and abundance for your patience. Because from what I can see, regardless of what someone else believes is owed to them or how they feel about this confusing situation, whatever is coming your way is meant for you. In fact, it already has your name on it. As I see you continuing to let nothing shake or break you in this season.